Hi there, I'm Ryan, or Decom if you will. For every model guest watching this video, I'm Tatani, Fetvirene Nakasi, I'm Ti, in Nambrupul, Tsuna, in Nambrupul, Si, Wai. So, for those who don't know, I am from Madagascar, and it's this island right next to Africa, and I assure you that there aren't any zebras or lions or whatever you saw in Madagascar the movie. The only accurate animal are just llamas and fus. I'm literally repeating what I've been telling last year. Lion doesn't exist here, penguins, hippopotamus, lions, If you want to watch what I did last year for this day, click here. For this day, I am going to do a character design. I will create a character from my culture, from its symbolism, so you can get a little bit of a context. And before attacking on the digital work, I worked on some sketches that I did manually. I did it on my sketchbook. As you can see there, now that I'm kind of prepared, kind of, we'll see how it turns out. As you know, first of all, you have to have a reference with you, always before drawing. As you saw, I gathered different references that are about poses for my character. I wanted to emphasize with its mysterious vibe, kind of like an anime because I watched a little too much. It's not as dynamic as my sketches. For the costume, I went to Pinterest to seek some inspirations and I wanted to exaggerate the lamp, the fabric that you see here and the red robe that you saw earlier on Pinterest. The third costume is really about royalty. I took example from Malaga's royal family costumes, especially Radama Folhuan or Radama the First. And his clothing is really centered around the European style, mainly the English style. He is the second king who reigned after his father, Andrian Ampuin Mirn, and yes, that's a long name. And during his reign from the 18th century to the beginning of the 19th century, he was the one who promoted education and shared amongst his people the English culture or the European culture, like for example, eating eggs because back then Malagasy people would just use eggs as a tool for buildings and for this very costume I put it some horns which symbolizes the city of Madagascar it's one of the greatest symbol of the island it's related to wealth so if you have a lot then you are considered rich it also follows the same logic for the tombs that are located in the south of Madagascar the more of you horns you have on your tomb, wealthier you were. Now for the coloring part. I use this brush, which is really effective. And if you use Krita, please just use it. It's so effective. Look at how easily I can do this. Just zoom out to get the whole drawing and just trace it. And that's it. Simple and effective. But anyways, about the colors, I went for a kind of neutral color palette approach on the biggest drawing on the canvas and the other two are a lot more flashy. The second one is actually obvious because it uses the red that you saw in the reference and the other one is inspired by the color of our flag. And let me introduce you to the meaning of each color. The white represents purity or fat juven. The red represents kind of two things at the same time. The first one is the blood of the Zebu, which is related to wealth and an individual's solidarity and the bond that one shares with its brothers and sisters and its country. And green symbolizes hope. I don't know about you, but I feel like the third design just looks like a Spanish man just because of the European clothing inspiration. Now that the sketch and the color blocking is done, we're going to finish this with the rendering. 
some tips and tricks you can do while drawing digitally. When you're going to shade, add another layer above your base and just click here on this A on Krita. On the other programs, I'm not really aware of because I am broke, I cannot afford Procreate nor an iPad, so <laughs> surely one day I will. But in that case, just create another layer and just right click and when you have a long list of things, you just click Clipping Mask and that's it. That works the same for Ibis Paint. For the shadows, I picked a warm color and went darker and darker on the edges where the light cannot engage with the subject and while i do this artwork i will show you the three brushes that i mostly use during this process we have the airbrush very classic it's very smooth for blending for soft things this round brush for soft shadows or hard shadows and finally the pencil like brush to give that traditional pencil drawing vibe and actually i quite like it those brush are available on Krita because those are the default brush. I didn't create my brush yet and yeah, I did with my old art style, but right now I'm considering getting out of my comfort zone, so we'll see how it turns out. I will finish with the details and let's speed this a little bit. Here are the final products. If you have any ideas or characters you want me to draw, mention it in the comments and you might as well notice the little peach flower in my drawings. If you see that in any artworks, then it means that it is me and also this little guy right there. Thank you for watching and I wonder how next year is going to be with this kind of project.